Welcome back, everybody. David at Twice Diecast. So glad you joined me for another episode of News and Reviews. Let's get right to it. Tarmac Works has a crazy good lineup uh, in their Jan or excuse me December pre-order announcement. Check out that F40. We've got that RX7. We've got this RWB. This release is loaded from Tarmac Works. Felix and the gang always killing it. Love that high ace van as well. Moving on over to Greenlight. They have got a new lineup in their Greenlight Hollywood series that includes two brand new castings. So you collectors of different castings like myself should enjoy getting two out of six being brand new castings. I, uh, I love that Greenlight is doing that. Always giving us high quality stuff from the movies and entertainment that we love. Next, we will move over uh, you know what? I'm going to take a minute. I want to give a shout out to Mustang Hunter Diecast. Jason is a friend to a lot of us, and he had an amazing article written about him in one of his local uh, online magazines. Go to his IG Instagram that you see up top at the uh, top of this picture here and go check out that article. What a cool article about a cool guy doing some good things in the Diecast community. Last but not least, we have got a new lineup coming out from m2 they've got some pretty cool castings we've even got an m2 in the unboxings today so stick around for that but this is some m2 stuff coming out in the very near near future uh, looks pretty good to me love the pickup love the chase version before we go on this segment i want to leave you guys with a special message and an update on this series so pay close attention thanks guys Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this episode of News and Reviews, and I have absolutely appreciated you guys supporting this show for the past year, year and a half, whatever it's been. I wanted to let you know about a, uh, a change that'll be coming. We're going to be moving News and Reviews from Twice Diecast over to Diecast Media Network. That is a project that I am extremely proud of and excited about. Uh, I do it with Chuck and Mark Dotson Man Diecast. You all know him. I believe in the project Diecast Media Network. I want it to be one of the homes of the best Diecast content. And I am I am moving this show over to that channel to kind of build that channel up and keep it growing. And it's been growing at an enormous, enormous amount. And you guys know that because you are a huge part of that. So from now on, news and reviews will be on Diecast Media Network, not Twice Diecast. If you need any help finding Diecast Media Network, please drop me a comment below. Now enjoy the rest of the show. Let's open some cars. We will start off this episode with a brand, which I do like. I just rarely find anything uh, to add to my collection from M2. Which is a shame because in terms of trucks and like straight up American muscle, not a lot of companies do it better than M2. A lot of you guys have issues when you buy M2 uh, with some of them having, uh, you know, quality control issues. And, and I will acknowledge that. So uh, I'm not gonna stick my head in the sand. There are some times I see these in the stores with the base not even connected to the uh, rest of the body. So yeah, it is what it is. This one looks good. Let's get this power wagon open uh, and I'll come right back and we'll take a look at it. All right, if you don't have M2 in your area, this is how they come packaged. You get that cardboard sleeve. It comes with an acrylic case on a base, screwed down and possibly taped. No, nope, just kind of a tension holding that case on top this is a really clean looking pickup don't have a whole lot of trucks in my collection they take up a lot of room sometimes they don't fit on my uh case but let's get this joker off and uh, see if this thing is up to the twice die cast collection standards i'll be right back 
I wanted to show you guys this because I don't know if it's in response to the customer quality control questions. Um, you can see this one is lifted and it's got some um, suspension up underneath it. And I think that they added this piece right here to the base to protect that suspension. So uh, if, if that's the case, then you can see that they are listening to some of the feedback you get. All right, so you get painted tail lamps here. You got a Dodge on the tailgate, chrome bumper looking good. I like the tires. They look pretty much right. Uh, wheels look good as well. Love the pinstriping along the panels of the truck. Look at that black bench seat in there. That's looking good. Bed looks like it's got holes for some accessories, maybe on a different version. Uh, this does have an opening hood, I believe. And I'll try and get that open uh, carefully. You can see that it's gonna open. I don't care about showing that part. Sorry guys, uh, I don't wanna damage the paint trying to force it open. I'm gonna keep it displayed like this. Overall, pretty good model. I am pleased with it. Uh, looks like you got some lensed headlamps, which is good for me. Here is your base on that. I love that M2 gives you information about the vehicle, uh, when it was made, what type of vehicle it is. A lot of detail on the chassis for sure. Check that out. Got uh, all kinds of transmissions and differentials and all kinds of stuff on that. So pretty pleased with this one. We'll watch it spin around. Uh, don't add a whole lot of M2 like I said earlier, uh, but this one definitely fits the bill. Shifting over now to our European entry for this week's episode, we have got an Audi A7. This is from a company called JKM. You can see right there, I believe. Let's make sure that I thought it was JKM. Da, 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 da. All right, we'll have to keep looking. I could have sworn it was. This seems to be their packaging. It's either that or X Car Toys. I always get their packaging confused and let's see maybe the base will tell us but uh cool car nonetheless a7 true 164 scale you've got some really nice interior uh red bucket seats kind of a sport package on that i guess uh wheels look right lens tail lamps here on the back and got it going all the way across the rear of the vehicle. Audi ATL, is that right? On the registration plate. Audi rings on the deck lid, looking good. Interior, really well done, guys. Can you see through the sunroof or, or moonroof? Got a big hole in the roof. Let you look at all that good detail on the interior. Hope you guys can see it. Got chrome all over the center console. You got it on the steering wheel, on the dash. A lot of good stuff to appreciate on this car. Coming around on the front, we have got some lens headlamps. Amazing how they get all that detail inside the lens. And the Audi badge and grill look right on the money. Loving this one. I'll clarify which company it is. I'll go back and look at my uh, order online and see what I bought, but we'll watch it go around now. No doubt about this last one. This is an LCD model Toyota RAV4 hybrid another true 164 scale we'll get it out of the package and we'll take a look at it okay for those of you curious this does appear to be a fully licensed vehicle you've got the toyota licensed product badge right there on the box so without further ado here's just a little bit of the box in case you guys want to look into getting lcd brand into your collection 
This was found online at uh, AliExpress. This is your base that you get. And now we will take it off the base and see if this thing is as good as I thought it looked when I bought it. Have a few LCDs in my collection. Don't mind the brand at all. It's very light in hand. Lens headlamps. You have got a nice grill as well as front end detail on this vehicle. Toyota badge, really clear and well done on the front. My goodness, this thing is light. It's almost like this is a resin model. So you've got, look at all the body lines, how geometric and sharp they are. Casting is really well done by LCD. Got some pretty specific or appear to be correct rims on that. Look at the multiple colors you get on the tail lamps. RAV4 on the back, you got a license plate. You've got a rear wiper detail built into the glass. A little bit of a Toyota badge on the lift gate. And the mirrors, it looks like they've got some reflectivity to them. So, not a lot to look at on a black interior. We'll put this one on the turntable. Hope you enjoyed these three cars. Thank you for watching Twice Diecast and News and Reviews. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.